Hello. The next item that I want to show you is a very special uh, treat indeed. My uh, favorite items to discover here in Japan are uh, ordinary household items and day-to-day uh, -day use items that have a special treatment or a special finish or some special touch that, that really makes them stand out. And this is just such an item. This uh, is obviously a very large bowl with an attached lid and the bowl is made of uh, solid wood and finished with a, a red lacquer, a beautiful red lacquer and gold trim along the edges and decorated with beautiful, absolutely stunning gold and silver colored maquille um, designs. Let's just go ahead and quickly uh, go over the bowl and uh, then we'll look at the designs themselves. The bowl is quite large and you can see that uh, the red lacquer all along here and then uh, black on the bottom. The bowl is suitable for uh, service for a large meal, uh, perhaps uh, um, in, a, in a party setting, and uh, includes a traditional style lid that fits within the bowl. It doesn't actually rest over the, over the lid, over the bowl, but it actually fits inside. Kind of a nice design. The um, inside of the bowl has, the, again, the beautiful lacquer finish. And we can see that there are some scratches. Let's see if I can catch the light there just right. The bowl has uh, seen past use and so it does have scratches. There they are. You can see there are many scratches and marks. Uh, nothing too serious though. This one mark here that you can see uh, is just a little deeper but it doesn't go through to the wood. The bowl is uh, indeed ready for uh, use again. Now the highlight of this piece is the makie finish. Now makie uh, Japanese lacquer work is one of those craft elements and artistic elements that sometimes uh, doesn't get the attention that I think it deserves. Um, imagine attempting to do some artistic work, some painting or design, and choosing as your medium not paint, but instead to use lacquer itself. Um, lacquer is a particularly tricky substance to work with as an artistic medium as it requires a long drying time and multiple applications to receive the proper finish. And if we look at the uh, lid here, this, this, this camera may not quite pick up the uh, detail that it has, which uh, is quite nice. If we look at the detail here, you can see that a beautiful, f almost a natural type of uh, an outdoor floral setting or, or um, plant setting is shown here. Nothing too flashy, just uh, some simple plants with some simple natural blooms. It, one can almost hear the, hear the crickets. It seems like something outside our door by the river very very nice very subtle in in a very Japanese way but if we get in close and we look at the lacquer work itself you can see that a great deal of work went into this look at the look at the beautiful details here fine lines the uh, silver colored lacquer here and the gold lacquer here and I'll try to pick it up here if I move it on an angle maybe down here we can see it you can almost catch the fact that this is actually in raised relief. If I run my fingers over this, it actually has a, a bump. It rises above the surface of the lid. This is because the artist that created this did not do it in a single pass, but had to come back and apply multiple layers of lacquer over and over again, allowing a, a considerably long a drying time between each coat to achieve this effect. It truly is a work of art and a one-of-a-kind item. This is a very special and it really makes me happy to, to discover these items. Uh, the, uh, the lacquer work, the maquille work, is also seen on the side of the bowl itself. You can see beautiful, beautiful fine lines. Imagine the steady hand that it would take to make these lines. Okay, I've gotten myself uh, pretty excited. <laughs> I, just love, I just love finding these beautiful treasures. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, wooden Japanese serving bowl ready for use or display and uh, up for your consideration. Thanks for dropping by and uh, sharing my excitement. <laughs> Take care for now. Bye-bye.